Good morning, guys. Um, hopefully you all had a good Wednesday. Um, this is Thursday here in Tennessee. It's six, 62 degrees and a little chilly up on this mountain. I'm going to have to make this a quick video, or at least I'm hoping it is. Um, I didn't go to bed till around 3 and woke up at 5 this morning. On top of that, I didn't realize my dog's water bowl was sitting near where my computer was charging. And my main part of my charger fell in the bu bucket of water. I don't know how long it was sitting. I don't think it was sitting there too long because uh, if I plug it in and out, off and on through the PC, it'll show charge that it won't. So I'm hoping sitting it in the sun a little bit will dry it out. But if it doesn't, um, and if you don't see me online or making comments or posting or anything like that, it's because I'm going to have to wait till Saturday to go down in the valley. My husband's going to take me, and if it doesn't work, and I'll just replace the charger. So and that was my morning. Um, other than that, I'm feeling, instead of feeling, I, I woke up feeling, you know, the two hours, three to four, four, yeah, two hours of sleep. I felt a little stiff, um, very stiff, so I, I think I just slept wrong because usually I have a body pillow in front of me and one behind me, and I didn't put my body pillow or I lost it on the floor somewhere, and my back got, tw I slept with my head one way and my back twisted the other, and I'm really not supposed to do that at all with my spinal issues, so um, I think that's my main thing today. Um, or my main issue that I have this morning. Um, my stuffy head is slowly going away. I can actually <sighs> breathe, but I still woke up wheezy this morning and had to do my um, inhaler. But today, I mean, I was supposed to do s some stuff yesterday, and I really didn't until my husband got home. And we went out in the backwoods and just walked instead of rode. And we just walked around. But today, with now I can breathe and... I'm going to take some allergy medicine, and I'm going to um, go straight in front of me over here and go and trim my stag horns or um, sumac berries. And I really got to get that done because I, I got to get that done because come tomorrow, um, we're back at that other trailer that is finally kilted, and there's no mold in it or anything this weekend. We're going in, and um, I got to paint from one end to the other, and um, he ended up making an arch, which I'll have to take my camera over there. I, he made an arch from where the living room and the little bitty room was, little bedroom was for kids or whatever, I don't know, and made an archway, beautiful archway, so he's got to go over there and trim that out, and then I'll paint that wall, and um, we've got, we found a place up here that sells beautiful cherry oak, cherry color, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, tongue grew and flooring real thick, and it's for it's 50 square feet a box, and he's selling them for twenty dollars a box, and we only need uh, 51, 52, four, three and a half boxes. So we're just for under a hundred dollars. We're doing the living room and the spare room that's now a walk-in extension to the to the to the living room so that's not bad we ended up getting a deal on that and we've already got the carpets i'm not too tickled about the carpets that were they were um donated to us and um or given to us and i'm not too fond of it it's a beigey carpet and a white carpet and i'm personally a smoky gray and a black dark color carpets you know i, I love my dark carpets but right now, you know, I'm going to, I'll deal with these till we get, save up, because we put so much money in this, redoing the kitchen in here, and the house on this property, and all the water and everything, so we're having to save up to actually get the carpets. But we came across a very good deal with the, the hardwood flooring for $20, a um, 50 square feet box, so that's not bad, and this, these boxes usually run you between, a, um, 50 to 75 dollars to a hundred dollars a box that's how um expensive these boxes usually are so I, i'm happy at that um 
let's see here. I, I'm, I'm trying to think outside the box today, guys, because, I mean, yesterday was a little freaky with my thinking, and I don't know, and I'm trying to stay warm at the same time because I'm cold this morning. But, um, oh, now it's 63 degrees. Six, it's, it's bouncing between since I woke Um, It was 58 when I woke up this morning, and when I first came out here, it was 63, and then it dropped 62, and now it's back up to 63. But that's, I see, I'm rambling. Um. Uh, I I, I want to also say yeah, Bill Bill Thompson. I'm so glad you're. I I, I know you said uh, you. Everybody probably thinks you're crazy, because while you're feeling good, you went on a vacation again. No, honey. Um, I'm the same way. When I'm having a good, if I feel good, like I haven't felt in a long time. Oh yeah, I'm gonna. I'm going to do the crazy, as you call it, things that I haven't done in a while, too. Now, I'll probably regret it when I'm done, all, all said and done, but I enjoyed it while it, while I did it, because it felt good. And sometimes it does feel good to just get out and say, you know what, I'm putting lime on the shelf today, and I'm going to do something out of the box, you know, outside of the pain and outside of the symptoms and everything, you say, you know what, I'm, you're not going to beat me. You are nothing but an alien in my body, and this is my body. So, get on the shelf and let me do what I want. Um, also, I want to give a shout out to um, Mike Five Alive. I'm trying to remember <laughs> his new, his new um, name title on here. Loved your last video. I love that you were more, you seemed more, more better than, and I love that. Um, because the last time me and you talked, you know, I, I'd seen you, uh, uh, feeling very low. I mean, yeah, you're always chipper, but, uh, so, I, I, I seen a glimpse of your old self, and I understand why you're pushing through everything, and I understand why you're just throwing caution to the wind, and I um, really can't wait till I hear your first recording of music, but I understand what's going on, you've told me, so, but I'm still looking forward to that, um, let's see here, it, I'm trying not to shiver here, because I swear it's fall, but the sun's out, and it's breezing cold, but, um, mostly today, like I said, I'm, I'm really got to get over here to the, um, sumac berries and get those picked, and my neighbor down the road, um, has given me a buttload of, um, flower seeds, beautiful flowers, beautiful, beautiful flowers, so I've got to go down there and get those, those seeds, and, um, he's given me some, I don't know the plant, what it's called, I'll have to repost that later, it's a tree that blooms, some are white blooms, some are purple blooms, some are pink, some are all different reds, violets, <laughs> so he's giving me little seedlings, because like I said, where we move, it's in a field, and the only trees are five acres away, and then two huge pine trees, not the original pine pine, it's the new, when people go and cut down all your trees, and they replace it with pine trees, and it's not a pine, it's a spruce and a pine tree mixed together, well, that's what I have, two huge ones sitting right in front of the house, so I need trees, I, I love flowers, and there's nothing there, so I'm loading up on buttloads of seeds and plants, and I think I've said this before, <laughs> to be honest, um, but, uh, oh, I get to bring my pit, the only thing, I, I know I was supposed to get rid of my pit bull, and, um, I let my husband know there was no way he'd move, I wasn't, I was not losing my pit, well, I'm not supposed to have him at all, but they're allowing me to have him as long as I keep him in the house, and the front porch and the back porch is, oh, about right up to here high on me, and he was trained not to jump over the porch, get off the porch, he's you know, he's been trained by that, I, I trained him that way, so, um, if he goes out on the front porch, he's got to be on the runner, you know, from one end to the porch to the other, and on the back porch, it is about this high, it's high, 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 and, um, my husband's going to screen it in, and put a 
something door on the back porch too because this it has a front porch and a back porch too so the back porch is where we're gonna um, put a doggy door on the back door so him and my shih tzu pandora can go back there um now he won't need a runner or a leash on the back porch but when he's on the front i gotta put him on a runner because that was the rule but most of the time if i'm in the house he's in the house and he only time he's allowed to get off on to step onto the property itself the grounds is um i've got to put him in a fence so um a friend of ours here uh, ended up letting us have all the fence posting metal fence stake posting and gave us fencing square box whatever some kind of fencing so big enough for him to be able to so we're going to fence in the whole huge the whole back porch is, I mean, the backyard as long as the trailer and, you know, like two trailers, because it's a trailer we're moving into, um, and two trailers wide out, so he, we can let him out, and he can be out in the yard, even though he's potty trained, so he can, you know, because like I said, he was raised in the house all his life, and um, moving here was his first time ever touching ground and being able to run free. So, um, so I, I, that's a good thing. I do get to keep him finally. Um, I'm glad that half my stuff that I never unboxed over in the storage shed you guys have seen before, half my stuff is still boxed. So, I mean, you know, the, and I, then I've got a brand, I've got a couch in here on my recliner couch. And then my sister-in-law, she's given me a better, another couch on top of it. So I'm like, ah. And I, I like that couch, too, but <laughs> I like mine because it's got the recliners. So, uh, we're, we're moving along pretty good on that. My thing is, I'm, I'm, I'm happy because my pit is coming with me because, um, like I said, he trained himself on me. Um, he trained, like, Slice of Lime has her trained something dog, service dog. Well, I mean, I've had mine since he was almost three, two, two to three weeks old. So, when I got sick, he... He trained himself. He sensed when I was having attacks or fixing to anything. And he'd, he'd come up and automatically come to me. And I could grab onto his walker. And he'd walk me to wherever I was. And, or he'd lay down on me when I was cold or if uh, my body was aching. So he trained himself. I've not trained him. Even though he's a brat. And he's not. he just turned two. So, and I, I know pits, it takes five years for them to mature. So, he, he's, he's, a, he's still a toddler, you know. <laughs> he's still trying to open cabinet toddlers. One of them kind of grab everything toddlers. But, I like, but that's, that makes me happy. But my only bummer today is my charger. So, if you guys don't see me for a couple days or whatnot, it's because the, the computer went, <clears throat> if I don't get the charger um, dried out. And until Saturday, but um, other than that, God bless you all. May you have a beautiful, fabulous. I'm. Th I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. A beautiful, fabulous Thursday. Um, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put a silver lining in my day, and I'm gonna do something, whether I like it or not, and just enjoy my day and i'm gonna put lime on the shelf and all its nasty co-infections right up there with it but we need to stop let i'm gonna stop and i'm gonna say we need to put it on the shelf and say you're not gonna beat me i'm gonna take you out of my body one way or the other but i love you guys and look for the silver lining because if you don't no one else will god bless and much prayers